Yo, how's it going everyone? Saints fan here and welcome to another episode of Fashion Friday. This week, I actually have seven awesome outfits to share with you guys and three awesome female outfits. So I hope you guys are ready. By the way, real quick, just before we get into the video, I'm actually going to be doing a shark card giveaway on my Twitter. So if you don't have a Twitter, go make one and go follow me. Link is in the description. But hopping into the first outfit from Famous, we got the Apocalypse Commando. And I really like this one just because the color scheme is different. It's not just all black like some of these always are. But to make it, put the denim shirt and braces on with super light body armor. For the bottom, gray combat pants with black scruffy boots. And then for the accessories, black fingerless gloves, the black broker hat, the carbon submariner watch, the gray combat shoot, and then the gas mask that you get glitched from the outfits. And then the gas mask that you get from glitching the coveralls outfits. Honestly, I'm not really sure how apocalyptic this is. I mean, obviously it's got the gas mask, but I really do like the way the gas mask and that hat, like how it looks together. You don't see too much clipping and the colors actually match, which is awesome. Same goes for the bottom, like the grays and the blue. It's a really nice color scheme. And if you want something different, there you go. The second outfit we have is from Broklaw, and this one is the Green Hornet which is based off of the movie, obviously, with Seth Rogen. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see the similarities. To make this one, put the black wool coat on with the white business shirt. For the bottom, regular or olive regular fit suit pants and then charcoal tipped Oxfords. And then for the accessories, the black mysterious mask, the green fedora, black leather gloves, and then the charcoal straight tie. If you have the car that they have in the movie and your paint job is similar, this is an amazing outfit to use with that. Even if you're not comparing it to the movie, it's still a pretty awesome outfit. The The green pants match the green on the fedora. It's kind of like a businessy superhero vibe. That's kind of what it's got going on for it. But I thought it was a pretty fun one. And like I said, if you do have the car to go with it, then that's even better. The third outfit we have is from Joseph and it's the Merryweather. This is a pretty awesome looking military one as well. So to make this one, put the red vest on with the black band vest t-shirt. For the bottom, either go with charcoal or black combat pants. He called for charcoal, but if you wanted to match the black and red theme, go with the black ones, obviously. Then put on black tactical boots. For the accessories, gray fingerless gloves with the standard body armor, the LCD earpiece, and then the all black broker hat. I really like the combination of the red and the black, even the gray Kind of like the first outfit, it just looks different from a lot of the other military outfits. And if you do want to sort of role play something that has to do with Meriwether, this is a fantastic outfit to choose for that. And then the final male outfit of the week is the Action Hero from the Red Viking. This is a pretty simplistic looking outfit, so to make it, put a black t-shirt with the stealth utility vest over it. For the bottom, faded blue regular fit jeans with tactical boots. And then for the accessories, black fingerless gloves with the black parachute, the LCD earpiece, steel aviators, and then for the hair, scruffy beard, and the faux hawk hair. It's not as militaristic as some of the other ones, but like the name suggests, it definitely looks like an action hero, so to speak. Now getting into the female outfits, and honestly, I would almost say these are cooler than some of the, the male outfits we've done. So this first one is so awesome. This one is from Omega Cult. And it is Deadpool. It is so unfortunate we can't do this with our guy characters. But if you have a female character, do this outfit right now because it just looks so damn cool. There's actually quite a bit, as you can see. But start with a red cropped biker jacket with the black classic t-shirt underneath it. For the bottom, red accent leggings and then red accent high top sneakers. And then for the accessories, put black woolen gloves, the BRB iFruit watch, standard body armor, the red loose balaclava for the top, zombie contacts and then the skull in scarlet face paint and then actually i didn't put this on there because i ran out of room but you can put the black parachute if you want to i know it's not like 100 like deadpool's outfit but it's as close as you're gonna ever come in gta online and it just looks so damn cool i i really am envious of all the the people out there who have female characters that can do this the next one is another really awesome one from sonic speed and this is the moto gear for the female to make this one, put the white mixed baseball tee on with standard armor, black battle pants for the accessories, regular gas mask, western MC yellow helmet, refuse collector gloves, and then the prolapse sweatband. The one for the guys that I did a few weeks ago that was all red, this one is a more yellow theme, obviously, and if you have a yellow bike, that would go absolutely great with this outfit. 
And then finally, the last female outfit. This one is a military female outfit. This one is the female Shadow Ops from Broclaw. And to make this one, put the skeleton hoodie on with standard armor for the top. For the bottom, go to the outfit counter and choose the Heist Rider The Club outfit. And then for the accessories, go with black tactical gloves, the pilot headset, the skull tight ski mask, and then night vision goggles. By the way, if you were wondering how to do any of the glitches involved with some of these outfits, I will leave a link to a video I did a few weeks ago where I showed you guys how to do all the, the recent glitches. I just wanted to say thank you to all the people submitting female outfits on Twitter. As you saw, there are some pretty damn awesome possibilities, even though I know some stuff with the female outfits are a little bit weird, at least when it comes to like putting different articles of clothing on. Next week, I think I'm going to be doing a division theme fashion Friday because the game The Division comes out the following Tuesday. And there are some pretty damn awesome outfits you can come up with in GTA Online from that game. But if you have any other outfits you want to submit, you can either let me know in the comment section or if it is a female outfit uh, specifically, you can tweet it to me with a picture of the outfit plus what you need to make it. Again, my Twitter link is in the description. But thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.